Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is a affordable Valentine's Day makeup tutorial look. So everything I have was purchased at Walgreens and HEB. So yeah, so anyways, if you wanna know how I got this look for Valentine's Day, just keep watching. So I am using the Not A Basic Peach palette from Wet n Wild for transition shade. I will actually use this one that says transition in the bottom. So just gonna grab some with my fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna start working it in. Alright, so now going back into the same palette, I'm going to grab this orange brown color right here and I'm going to apply that over the transition shade I just used, grabbing another fluffy brush and start working that in. I'm leaving the middle part open because that's where we're gonna put this color right here which is like a rose gold with some specks of gold. So I do want my eyes to stand out. Grabbing a flat brush, I'm gonna go into that palette and I'm gonna grab that rose gold color with little specks of gold. I don't, I don't know what the real name would be to it and this one doesn't come with the number. It comes with the number, I'm sorry, it just doesn't come with the color itself. But I'm gonna apply that to the middle part that I left open. Now that we got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and eyeline my eye. I'm using the Jordana Cat Eyeliner, and this is in the color of the black leather. So now that we have that semi-completed, we're just going to go ahead and start with the face. For the face, I'm using the Wet n Wild in the color Caramel. I just literally went to Walgreens. I don't know why I was going to say Whataburger. I literally went to Walgreens and I purchased um, these stuff for today's makeup tutorial. I bought these sponges off of Amazon. They are so fluffy. Look at that. They're so fluffy, they expanded like huge. I love these for like seven bucks and it comes in a little box like this. And it has, so it's a total of four, four sponges, but it comes, these other sponges in here. But I love these. They're like a good dupe for the Real Techniques and Beauty Blender. I was in search of these sponges. And I was like, I need to start looking. Went online and I read the reviews, decided to purchase it, and I love it. I don't know if I had mentioned that I got online during Christmas and I bought sponges off of Ulta. They had them on sale. Worst mistake ever. Damn sponges suck. They are hard. Even if you wet them, they're still hard. Like, you can't blend anything in because you feel like you're blending it in with a damn rock. I kid you not. I was so upset. My husband's like, we'll take them back. And I was like, mm. no. Because I bought them online. And I know you could still return them even if you purchase online because it's there in your, like, your purchase history and stuff reward points or whatever. But 
I didn't. I got them for like 10 bucks for like 10. And there are these, these sweet and shimmer blending sponges. These suck, suck. You wet them, they're still the same size. You try to squash them like this, it doesn't even do that because they're so fucking hard. You're like, I'm gonna go back in with the concealer. I'm using Wet n Wild, the same one that I used to prime my eyes. This is in the color 809 Urine Atrol. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the under eye. I mean, I like these because I used them for a while. I really do. But I feel like they're a bit greasy. just the consistency of it but I think that they're they're greasy like I prefer the Tarte Shade Tape concealer than that So now that we have the concealer on, we're gonna go back in with our contour stick. And this is in the color 806 Wears Walnut. Go back in with the same sponge and start blending in. So using a brush, I'm gonna go over the cream contour with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. For blush, I'm using the Pearlescent Pink, also from Wet n Wild. For highlighter, I'll be using the new golden, what is it? Golden Flower Crown. Grab some with my fan brush. I think I found something that I like. So it's not all about, you know, the Fenty Beauty one. I think this one's just a little bit like subtle. It's not like, it's not a standout highlighter like the Hustler Baby. But for my mascaras, I'm using the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes. I'm gonna do a thin coat before I go in with my lashes. I think and these are Kiss Lashes in the number 21. I'm using the Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. I just bought this randomly at HEB. I don't think it's by Ardell or Kiss or anything like that. I think it's just a random lash glue. For lips, I'm using the Ulta Beauty Matte Lipstick in the color Passionate. So ladies, this is the final look right here and now you're ready to slay fucking Valentine's Day. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all on my next Make up a tutorial and have yourself a wonderful Valentine's Day and I'll see you all later. Bye.